Hey guys, it's Sandro here, and welcome to part 3 and the final episode of the detail on this magnificent Mercedes S500. In parts 1 and 2, we went through the wash and decontamination process, the interior detail and the paint correction stages, so in this episode, we'll go through the protection process of coating the paint using NV Pro ceramic coating, and then I'll show you guys the final finish result. Now as I mentioned in part 1, this detail was a present from a son to his father, and the son previously had his own car coated with Nova Pro, so he specifically also wanted it for his dad's car, as he still loves the way the coating is performing on his own car well over a year later. Now although you certainly can, and I certainly do lay a Nova Pro at times, it will be applied as a single layer on this Mercedes due to the customer's budget. But in saying that, I'd still expect it to last for many many years, especially on a weekend driver. So I think it's going to be more than sufficient to ensure this car is well protected in the future. But beyond that, you'll also hopefully see that this coating has just an amazing ability to further amplify gloss and saturation levels in the paint to really take it to the next level. Now, it was a fairly average day in Melbourne, with the temperature sitting at about 25 degrees Celsius or so when I coated this S500. So, being that Nova Pro is a rather quick curing coating, I found that after applying it in overlapping vertical and horizontal lines, it needed approximately 2-3 to three minutes flash time. As such, I was able to apply it to two sections at a time before coming back and leveling it down with my two microfiber cloths to a clean, streak-free finish. Something I get asked a lot about ceramic coatings is whether or not they can be applied on different car trims and materials, and the answer is yes. You can definitely apply them on headlights, bumpers, plastic and rubber and metal trims. It's just important to note that on certain surfaces, such as uncoated metal and plastic trims, coatings or really any paint protection product, just won't tend to last quite as long as it will on metal painted panels. And this is doubly true for car rims that just take a lot of punishment and abuse. So although you can certainly coat rims, you just need to accept that the coating won't tend to last quite as long on them as it will on the rest of the car paint. Additionally, you can also ceramic coat glass. But on windscreens, it is advisable to use a more specific glass coating, as paint coatings can lead to wiper chatter on the front or even rear windscreens, which is actually the only real reason you wouldn't use a paint coating for glass.
Now as I continue to code the car, I just want to touch on a few points about ceramic coatings and misinformation. Firstly, my advice, coming from someone who has coded countless cars over the last 10 years, including about a dozen of my own past cars, is to really stop focusing in on manufacturers' durability claims on coatings. Just because one ceramic coating states it'll last two years and another one claims that it'll last five years, it's nothing more than predictions based on variables at best. And unfortunately, even more so, marketing hype. So just say you have the exact same coating made by a manufacturer and two brands are selling it under their own labels. One puts a more honest two year durability claim and the other puts a hyped up five year durability claim because their marketing research suggests that you'll buy the one with a five year claim and guess what, they're right. This is actually a large reason why I gravitate to certain brands like CarPro and Envy that in my experience hugely underrate their durability claims and I tend to stay away from other brands that have ridiculous and dishonest durability claims which are just damaging to the reputation of detailing products as a whole. Before ceramic coatings were around, it just wasn't reasonable to expect a wax or sealant to last much beyond 6 months or to have such amazing hydrophobic behaviour and resistance to UV, environmental and traffic film contamination. But instead of just enjoying and adopting this new technology for what it is, so many dishonest and deceptive brands just feel compelled to lie to customers and claim that their ceramic coating is so much more superior than others and will last 10 years or even a lifetime and that their ceramic coating is scratch proof and you'll never even have to wash your car again. And don't forget that you can set your car on fire as long as it's wearing their amazing coating and it'll protect it from the inferno and fiery flames. It's such a joke, but the bigger joke is on the customers, as these brands can say whatever they like, and they can claim whatever they like and get away with it scot-free. Even the word ceramic coating has nothing to do with these coatings. They should really be called quartz, glass or nano coatings due to their chemistry and makeup. But because of marketing hype and a need to be dishonest by certain brands, ceramic is the word that stuck. If you could just cut out all the BS and appreciate these coatings for what they truly are instead of trying to make them something that they aren't. There's just no denying how fantastic this new technology is and it's just a real shame that certain people have to lie and tarnish their reputation in order to try and make a quick buck. Now just before I leave you with the final coating footage and then the final shots of this amazing S500. I just want to say thanks to Steve for allowing me to be part of this detailing gift to his father, which incidentally he messaged me after he presented his father with this newly detailed car and said that he absolutely loved it. Personally from my perspective this was really one of my most satisfying jobs from the wash and decontamination stages to the interior rejuvenation and the paint transformation that really just came all together at the end with the ceramic coating that I think made this car look as good if not better than it ever has. It's not like it's a terribly expensive car to buy second hand or that there's a great financial benefit to restoring it. So it actually makes it doubly nice to see that someone has cared for this car so well in the past and that someone cared enough about it today to pay someone like me who doesn't come cheap to ensure that someone he loves gets to continue to enjoy this car for as long as possible. That was actually the best thing about this whole job. As always, I really hope you guys enjoyed and found this video useful. Please share this video, like, comment and subscribe to this channel to show your support for this content and I'll see you guys soon. Mira.
Drown ourselves